What is your NSFW secret that you are proud of? I was on a date with a girl probably out of my league. We eventually made it to her park and strolled onto a small bridge. There was a rushing stream below us, and it was night time, so no one was there next to us. Hearing all the water below really made me have to pee, like, really bad. So as both of us were leaning over the rail watching the stream, I quietly unzip and whip out my willy. I pee down a support to minimize the splashing. The relief I felt was orgasmic. 8 stroke 10 would do again. I once farted as I got on a packed train in London. I knew it was a killer but played it cool. The doors closed behind me and 10 seconds later a girl sitting next to her boyfriend hits him and shouts you're disgusting. Poor guy took one for the team. I put a miniature top hat on my erect penis and snapped a photo with the disposable camera that my platoon sergeant left in the Humvee. Got together with a girl who was also in second year at university with me. It was pretty connal. We were really attracted to one another and hooked up often and aggressively. It was hot. Anyway, one of the first few times we got together she invited me over. I went into her room and she had a red, sheer, satin sheet thrown over her lampshade casting a red hue to the room. She had high thread count Egyptian cotton sheets and tons of pillows on her bed. She also had, beside the bed, a bowl of mixed fruit. We made frick and afterwards I lay back in the afterglow of the sex onto a mountain of pillows with her draped, naked, across me laying on my chest amidst expensive cotton sheets and she began to fricking feed me fruit from the fruit bowl, like actually holding cherries up for me to bite off the stem. I felt like a fricking sultan. It was amazing. I fingered two of my sister's best friends at the same time in a field, akimbo style. I fingered two of my sisters. Oh god. Best friends, Hugh. I wrote erotica and dirty fanfic in high school for money. It helped me grow as a writer and paid for my needs. I charged based on length and content. Base charges. 5 10 pages. 8 dollars. 11 15. 10 dollars. 16 plus. 13 dollars. Content charges. Vanilla. Free. BDSM. Plus dollar sign 2. Furry. Plus dollar sign 3. I'm on a list now, dollar sign plus 5. Hilariously enough I was voted most likely to write a bestseller in the yearbook. The teachers were confused as to why my class laughed so hard when I was given the certificate. <laughs> my wife and I put a penny in a bank every time we have sex. I know the exact number of times I've had sex in my life because I've only ever had sex with my wife. I have a wheat penny tattoo on my right leg that I got on our anniversary I think 6th year. We also know how many times it took to conceive our two kids because we used nickels for one and dimes for the other. We count pennies every anniversary and write down totals and average for the year. Some people know this story, including friends at work, but it's not something I'd say is 100% safe for work. I had a threesome where all parties involved were actually attracted to one another. In high school me and my best friend challenged a girl to a competition on who could come the most in one day, using an honor system. I lost at 7 times, buddy got to 11, and she beat us both at 26. To this day I regret not stating in the rules no vibrators allowed. The spirit is willing but the flesh is spongy and bruised. The first time I came home on leave from the army I hadn't seen my wife in 7 months. We stayed at my parents house. She had moved in with her mother in that time to save money. My parents went out the first night we were there to see a movie without us. In a kind of wink wink nod nod situation. I had been in an incredibly stressful environment for 7 months without seeing my wife. I was also now highly physically fit. I fricked that girl so hard I broke my cherry wood bed frame and the bed collapsed underneath us. I was pretty busy that week and forgot to fix it before I left for Germany. The first phone call to my dad he said oh yeah, laughing. I fixed your bed frame for you. I don't know what you did to that poor girl but I hope she's alright. More laughing. I once met a friend at a hardware store. He said he needed to fix his bed. He had two girls with him. I don't think it was what it looked like. But we had a good laugh about it anyways. Had a foursome with three other women during a girls weekend at a cabin in the mountains. MDMA was involved. The other night this guy I am seeing and I had such great sex that after we climaxed at the end we literally fell asleep right away. I woke up an hour later literally still on top of him. I thought that was just something that happened in crap romance novels.
That's such a good feeling. Or being fricked hungry. This girl fricked me so good. I ate a pizza afterwards. 5 years 3 months clean from heroin today. Frick yeah dude. A year and a half for me. It makes me really happy to see things like this. Got a handy from my gf while her parents were driving us back from Disney World. What is your NSFW secret? Woohoo my time to contribute has come. That you are proud of? I guess I'll just read the comments this time. I'm really good at unhooking bras with one hand. Although weirdly it has to be with my non-dominant hand. And same here. GF asked me how come I'm so good at it. Turns out lots of practice was not the right answer. My bed is broken from having sex. It was already a little broken before from something else. But recently, in the middle of fun time, my bed caved in. It was hilarious but at the same time it scared the crap out of me. Comma something else. I broke a sink in a bar bathroom while having sex with my now wife back when we were in college. I rode a bike for a 40 mile journey on LSD in Tokyo during the height of cherry blossom season. This sounds magical. I'm currently in a friends with benefit situation with one of my senior manager. It started with a drunken night out and now we frick pretty much every day. It's quite awkward in the office because she is my boss's boss and during our business review meetings my face goes red when she asks me something. Ask reddits like this always makes me wonder if I just have an exceedingly boring life or if people are just phenomenal liars. You also have to remember that the 50 people who have real kinky stories are an incredibly small portion of the population. Once, I hung a poster by standing on a rolly chair. He said NSFW, not NSFL. I once shagged a girl who worked in post delivery. While I was signing the delivery she said something in my house smelled nice. I had just made coffee and wanted to offer her a cup. So I said I know, you wanna come in, which she did. She grabbed my crotch within 10 seconds and then my brain went frick it, let's do this I guess. She didn't get to drinking any coffee though. This sounds like an actual pee opening. When I was in college, I lived in a dorm that had a pool table room. One night, I was drunk with my then boyfriend, and we stumbled in there at around 3am to have sex. We ended up stripping down totally, not really caring about our nudity since the dorm was dead that night. While we were doing the deed, we ended up on the ground on the non-door facing side of the table, and almost immediately, someone opens the door and turns the light on. X and I freeze. I turn my head to look under the table and see their feet freeze as they see our clothes scattered everywhere. Not a noise was made. No one moved. Complete awkwardness for what felt like forever aka about 7 seconds. The other guy just turned the light off and backed out. And we never got caught. He just really wanted to play pool. My GF put a grapefruit on my wang once. I have to delete this before she sees it. Horglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglaglagla
I was so excited when I could finally do this and after I tried it the first time, it felt more like I was sucking a dong than getting a BJ. Never did it again. When I was in college, I worked at a vet clinic. I'd go in on weekends to take care of the boarders and I'd generally go in my myself. My girlfriend would join from time to time to play with the puppies. We fricked on my boss desk, in the hallway, and on the surgery table, which I tied her to. We're married now. I've had sex with a few pornsters. A couple of them do escorting at a relatively acceptable price and a few years ago I decided to indulge. I don't know how to describe it. Best experience in my entire life. They literally made me discover a new level of pleasure in sex. I'm a pretty vanilla guy. Didn't do anything out of the ordinary with them but holy crap this is something I obviously won't talk about in public but it rocked my life in so many ways. An incredible experience for sure. Had the best sex to date when a friend of mine said he'd give me a ride home after a long day of work. The car ride was long but immensely fun because of our playful bantering. We swapped sex stories and I could count on having a great conversation with him because of our common interests. He came inside my small apartment and one thing led to another. Basically, we went a few rounds, tried many positions that had me bending in awkward angles but felt really good, and we eventually moved my mattress so much that it flipped on us. Oh, and during his more rougher goes, we broke my curtain rod. He also enjoyed my impromptu twerking during doggy, which I had never done before but felt so dang good so planned to do again. Also learned that I could squirt that day. All in all, it was an amazing night. He came inside my small apartment, I bet he did. You have been visited by the science doggo, upvote now and you will get high grades and good results within the next week. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.